In Whiskey Lavango, the game begins by placing the characters of the players in the central hut. We then deal five cards, skills cards, to each player. These are the skill cards. The purpose of the game is to successfully perform the mountain activities on the board. These are the mountain activities. We have snowmobiles, off-piece skiing, ski mountaineering and snowshoeing, and heli skiing. The players start from the centre of the board and move around the board in any direction. The mountains are also considered boxes. In each mountain you have to have attained different equipment for the activity or for the sport on the cards. To achieve an activity you must first pass through a square that has the necessary equipment. The players start with a clean sheet showing the images of an angry Risky Levango, the avalanche, which is this image just here. So for example, the score that you achieve for the helicopter is, is shown just here. And so forth for the other mountains. By indicating equipment, each piece of equipment provides an additional five points for all activities whilst in possession. You can see at the bottom the different equipment. We have the avalanche rescue beacon, the probe and the shovel. The avalanche rescue beacon, all three together and then going back to normal where we first start with the angry lavango. Other refreshment boxes provide five points. So we have isotonic drink and the energy bar. So the energy bar is there and the isotonic drink is just here. They are only added to the first activity that is played after you achieve these, uh, the drink or the bar. A warning box that loses you five points is the avalanche danger flag and they are only taken from the first activity that is played after getting them. Okay, looking at the weather we have heavy fog, the box of heavy fog, the box of heavy snow and the blizzard and landing on each of these would lose the player one turn. The avalanche if you land on this box would lose the players two turns. And then the nowhere to run or the dead end box, landing on this loses the player one turn and makes you lose all of your equipment. So it would bring your score back to zero. So the purple squares. In them you can take or discard skills cards. These are the skills cards. You can only have up to a maximum of eight cards at all times and you have to read these cards aloud whether taking them or discarding them. There are four types of cards. So we have the training and experience, information, human factor and equipment. And each of the cards at the bottom has a number. Sure. Okay, to be able to carry out a mountain test, it is obligatory that you must have one, at least one, of each of these types of cards. Without all four types of cards, you can't take the activity test. And the code at the base of the cards. Each card has a hidden value between minus 15 and plus 15. 
and obviously the best selection of cards helps us to achieve the skills activity. So the value at the bottom of the cards isn't the value of the cards. The value is hidden within this number. So for example, 4 isn't necessarily better or worse than 6. The value is hidden when it's later on added to the application. Blue boxes. Blue boxes. In these boxes, you have to take the risk and rewards cards. Risk and rewards cards. We have direct rewards, where in this case we have plus 10 in your next activity test. The next card is a, that you can have is a direct penalty, which would be the same as this one, only negative. You can have wild cards, and we can have dynamic game and cards with situations that are to be resolved. Okay, there are different types of cards. So this is a card where you have a situation that needs to be resolved randomly using the dice. So this would be, if my result of the dice was odd, this would be the result. And if my dice was an even, then I would have the result at the bottom in the evens. You can see this card also has a QR code, and the QR codes are there to provide information if you're curious about the information provided on the card, and you want to go to the website, you've got the QR code just there. You also have a joker card, which immediately converts itself into a skills card. And then you have the worst card of all, which is a card which makes you trigger an avalanche and see if you survive the uh, avalanche that you've just been caught up in. Okay, the points earned before playing an activity, positive or negative, should be noted down on a piece of paper in readiness for entering, entering them into the application. After playing the activity, your points are then reset to zero. The dangers and rewards cards must be read out loud as you take them or as you discard them. But you can keep them in your possession without playing them until just before playing an activity, if you wish. If you have not yet played them before the activity, then they have to be played at the time of taking the activity test. The activity test on okay. mountains. So when you have the necessary equipment, for example, a helicopter, here a snowboard, when you have the necessary equipment on your scorecard and sufficient cards of the correct types of cards, then you can try to make your way to the mountains to be able to do an activity. Depending on how the dice rolls, if you eventually make your way to the mountain, you can take the activity test. Okay, to play an activity, you can use the application. First of all, an application. In this case, I will be choosing the, the dice of a hundred, with a hundred different uh, results that you can have. I play the dice, that would give me a result between 1 and 100, and then it now asks me for the results from the cards, from each of the cards that I have, to see how much points I would earn for each card. I won't put in the results, but for example, I'll make some random choices, and then we will then move on to the next section. After adding the points from the cards, we will then go to the, the number of points accumulated from the equipment achieved and from the danger and rewards cards. And that total would be added into here. For example, I'll add in the total and then move on to the next section. And the application would give me a result which would then tell me whether I passed the, and achieved the activity 
or if our results are based on a scale. And there are two levels of difficulty. Be careful, if you select the wrong cards and your virtual dice score is low, you could be disqualified if you're unlucky. Okay, once you have done the test on the application, you'll be given a score. The score will either give you one star, which you can mark on the relevant section of your scorecard, or you could achieve a special prize, in this case shown here. And the winner of the game is the person that either gets four stars in each of the mountains, or three special prizes. So, dynamics. These come in the danger and rewards cards and allow blind swapping cards with another player, keeping cards from another player, or keeping equipment for another, from another player, or having to simulate an avalanche situation with your game at that point, which entails the consequent danger of being disqualified, having to go to an avalanche box and losing two turns. This card, for example, is a blind swap card, and it would allow me to blind swap cards from, from another player, if I so wished.